Hey, how'd the checkup go? Clean bill of health. Listen, um... I just wanted to make sure that you didn't think I was poking my nose in where it didn't belong earlier when I asked about your mother. Oh, no, not at all. I, uh, did have my reasons. Doctor, do you have a fact? Two, nine, four, five. Psychologist. A woman psychologist. Madison, after hearing you talk about all the men who've had a negative effect on your life, I figured having an intelligent woman to talk to might do some good. You do. Maybe I am. It is just not easy staying mad at you. I find it incredibly difficult. You know, Tad, you just do too much for everybody else but yourself. Here we go. I'm serious. Your brother, your daughters, and, and me with Stuart. You stood by my side the entire Bailey mess. Why'd you do that? Isaac. <laughs> I like to look out for the people I care for. Call me crazy. Call me responsible. Just call me. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that about you. It's one of the things I found the most attractive. One of the things? <laughs> So, that's the good news. Yeah. I can stick around and get into the Kung Pao. Wow, I was hoping you'd stick around for more than that. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Stop, Stop it. Stop. Stop. You, you, Stop. you started it. Stop. You. like that. David is sick. Sorry. Have some compassion. I do have compassion. I have it for you. I have it for Trevor. I just don't have it for him. You know what I want to do? I want to peel back his mask and show the world exactly who he is. That his, his disease is nothing but a lie. It's just to manipulate you. And I just, you have to know no matter what he says or what he does, I will never believe him. So you're still going to Gloucester no matter what I say. If you keep acting like this, Jake, if you keep doing this to David, I don't know how we can go on. Look, why doesn't Nurse Gale take you on a tour of the facilities, all right? I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Wonderful. Greenleaf, we'll be seeing you soon, okay? So, how do you feel? Scared. Excited. Very excited. I've been having these dreams that are so real. Like I'm seeing exactly what it's going to be like when I go back. You might want to be careful not to put too much stock in dreams, Greenlee. There are bound to be some surprises. Tell me Ryan's not looking up at the moon with Emma right now, wishing I was with him. Tell me my death didn't bring my dad and Erica back together. Tell me Kendall won't be waiting with open arms to welcome me back. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> 